and the abuse of freedom of expression and, and the uh, I guess in this case one of the things that is very that if you have a negative document of that nature, again, you will be given the right to do it. Even admit that in the school, that we do contents of the counter chain of civil media, which he thought was a major point in Nigida's defense, which the public wanted to know. This he said was on the basis that all the public had heard so much from Mr. Emanuel's side about the goings on in his chambers, which led to the court action. That was the thing in contempt of court. I mean, if I was interested in being contemptuous of the court, the, the most salacious thing available to me at the time I saw the document was all of the details about the access of the I could have gone through that list. I thought that the court did not want that done for obvious reasons. And I, I refrain from doing that. So the intention has not been to be contemptuous of the court, certainly not. And I felt that the, the matters that I was bringing to public attention in terms of the nature of the trial was... How did you obtain the document? Because it has been sealed. The sealed document? Uh, painted by error. In error. <laughs> Somebody sent it to me. Uh, one of these attorneys who uh, reserve the right to send out things in error and then tell you that if you have received it in error, then you should return it. And I don't know whether the registry disclosed to that particular attorney because it's not at, uh, at, at, that, at that material point in time, the attorney in question was not involved in the... In the in, as far as I know, the, the attorney was not at that material time involved in the case. Well, the lead attorney for Steve Nizidor says there's been no discussion.